Hello everyone and welcome to my first ever golf vlog. I am in Scotland, I know, sunny Scotland, at Dunhamog Links. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a three hole course vlog. I am going to sort of, hello, it's a little bit windy. <laughs> Um, so this is why I'm actually testing something new I've never done this before so I'm going to use my AirPod speaking inside just to see if it buffers out the wind a little bit so yeah so I'm going to play three holes I'm going to do like shot by shot and yeah just see how it goes I'm going to throw in the good the bad the ugly little chit chat and yeah, I hope you enjoy because I'm going to do this three hole challenge I've decided to start on the 11th because everybody's telling me that signature hole. Par 3, I've heard there's many bunkers around the green, so I'm looking forward to it. So I'm playing 11, 12, 13. Just so you know, I have decided to play at the white today, which is sort of middle ground here. Um, I think for 18 holes, it is playing... What was it playing? Yeah, so just under 6,500 yards, so just to give you a bit of an idea what I'm working with. We have arrived at hole number 11, and first impressions. Yeah, someone did describe there's three bunkers at the front, but they didn't describe how angry they looked. So we've got three bunkers sat into the side of the green and yeah I feel like they're staring at me <laughs> I've just scoped it out and it's saying it is 123 yards the breeze is into out the right pretty strong to be honest so I'm going to try and play a little sort of punchy nine iron in there do not want to be short on this hole we're just going right side of the flag here from Windwell. Push it. Oh, strike wasn't great. Get on the green. Well, we've made the green. That is all that matters on this hole. I did not want to be in that bunker. So it's always good hindsight, but I probably should have hit like a really little like knockdown a iron into that wind, but I just thought I'd go for the glory shot and try and smash one in next to the flag. But we are putting and that is all that matters. I'm gonna jump out here and just to give you a bit of perspective into these bunkers. So this is what I saw from the tea. These very angry looking bunkers. The faces just yeah, this is a wall. You're not coming over me. That one is the one you do not want to be in. Yeah, so I'm on the green, but definitely not the easiest part. It's a pretty long way away from the hole. And it looks like there is an elephant buried on the left of me. But I'm thinking that's going to break a bit right to left, left to right, and then pretty straight at the end. Uphill all the way, and let's hope that wind doesn't affect anything. Not to trust I'm going to hit this a bit harder. It actually, oh it's coming back in! <gasps> oh my word! I nearly hold it! That was a huge segment, so it actually went pretty straight, and then it came back in at the end. Here we go, here we go. Me. I am yeah, thrilled with that shot. Oh my word. Are we having this with a gimme? Nope, no gimme in this game. Wow. Definitely a solid two putt. I would have taken that. All day long. So I've not actually looked at the card at all for these three holes, but we've got a par four, the 12, 337 yards, stroke next 15. So let's 
see what we can do on here. But this hole actually, like visually wise, looks more open just because there's not as much rough and goes around the edge. But as soon as you get down there, the fairway is very undulating. So we just go in the middle of the fairway, swing easy because the wind is straight into the fairway. Why don't I just swing it easy all of the time? Yep, middle of the fairway. Don't know if this will be picked up in the camera, but this is what I mean about the undulations. Uh, many of them, and then, you can see it here. Oh, I think I might have just found a flat section. Maybe. Or below be a little bit. let's get the yardage of this shot oh no it's starting to rain i've done so well all day uh, we have got 147 no one second that was not right 143 yards and um, the wind feels different down here it's definitely like more across let's uh oh there has not yeah, <laughs> the hair usually tells me how far it is. Well, not how far it is, the how where the wind is going. So 147. Oh no, this is Scottish weather. It was glorious, literally 30 seconds ago. I am going to go for a seven iron. Again, just a nice easy one. Okay, come on, let's go. I'm going straight to like it. Come on, get there. Oh, that's come on. Oh, no disaster. The camera as well. So, pants all over. The ball's come up short. It's turning into like links, like Scottish links weather now. Yeah, I'm so glad I didn't put my sun cream on the camera. Talking of the undulation again, we're gonna go for it. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh, yeah, there's my ball. Nice and short. Wow, that's really short. I know I catch it thin, but come on, give me a bit of a break, wind. Roughly, I'm thinking we've got about 30 yards here, and traditionally on a link, you play a bit more of like a bump and run, but it's really quite uphill there, so I've gone for a bit more of a lofty club. We've gone for 38. Now the wind feels slightly into from the right. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be able to try and fly it. So it's a bit close to the flag for me on this. Then the wind did me a favor and I think it's not from high. This like three hole, three bumper thing seems to be a reoccurrence around here. Yes, I've missed one. Nope, there's another two that you can go in. Straight basically on the same line. And they're not easy holes. Oh sorry, I can hear the holes. Not easy bunkers. My um yeah. Come on, this is for a par. Oh, can I say par? I would like to think so. You can really feel the wind up here. It's a very exposed section of the golf course. Um, the line I'm getting is, I think it's going to break a little bit left to right. And I feel like I just need to hit this one quite firm. Again, I feel like the wind is going to restrict the roll ever so slightly. So right. Come on, need a confidence spot here, honey. Yes. Again, a par. I am thrilled with that after that terrible shot into the green. I'm just waiting on the people who want to play, so I thought we'd have a little chit chat. Um, Lynx Golf. I used to play that a lot as a junior because, um, sort of county. Um, Cheshire County really sort of all their tournaments were played on Lynx courses and since then 
I haven't really played that many links. It's even I love playing them. Um, I love the challenges it brings, the different types of shots, the creativity you've got to have when it comes to Link's goal. But yeah, so definitely going to try and play a bit more links. So very sort of off topic, on topic. But um, so when I go and play golf on my own, I generally laugh because even though I know I'm playing on my own and people are surprised that when you play golf on your own, but I'm like, no, that's pretty normal, as well as playing with friends. I always go, yeah, I'm um, playing with Jeffrey. I'm like, oh, right, okay, yeah, that's it. End of conversation. And, yeah, so I'm playing with Jeffrey today. I'm sat right here, and he's playing fantastic. Ooh, so I've just pulled up to the 13th, and it is literally right on the train track. I have heard this, and I really wish I'd brought my drone in because... On the other side of that is a golf, another golf course, and then apparently there's like three or four different golf courses linked together, so that would have been a pretty cool shot. But next time, next time I'll try the drone more. So, um, yeah, Jeffrey just hit an absolute beast down there. It's 372 yards, par four, hole 13, and it is stroke index nine. Oh, I really tried to get the train in the video. That was a fail. This hole actually is really cool. So we've got the train track. We have got another golf course on the other side. And then we've got the sea. I wish you guys could see this. Very cool. The wind has switched ever so slightly. So it's coming... On the left a little bit, but still massively into. I'm going to aim just left of centre, with there being a bunker on the right hand side, which looks like right in my driving distance. Oh, the wind. Oh no, I faded that. The wind's got it ever so slightly. Sit down. <gasps> that was a member's bounce. So it is just pitched near that bunker. Bounce straight back. Thank you. We found the fairway again. Um, oh my word! I still got two o two to the flag. Um. Yeah, that's there. Uh, I'm gonna get my forward into a R four green, which. The green is actually two tier green, the flag's on the top tier, but that top tier is protected by a small pothole bunker. So I'm going to go a little bit left and let's see if that wind can save and bring in a little bit. Not gonna lie, this lie is very tight and doesn't look very friendly. Oh, I'm happy with that strike. Come on, wind. It's coming in. Yep, we're on the green, but it's just dribbled down. Sort of pitched halfway up that slope in the tier, and it's just worked back down. But forward, to par four. I needed to hit that green to try and make my par. I've just come down to the green and this is sometimes the good thing about never playing a golf course before because there's actually a little um, stream to the green as well which I, can't, I didn't know about that so all I saw was that bunker which actually does not as what it looked the danger more was the worst so I'm glad I didn't know about that one there's like little sneaky bunkers everywhere so here's the green We've got the bunker short, see the water there. You go long and you're in another one. I'm going to take this because you need to see the actual severity of this hill. And I don't know if that does it any justice whatsoever. But there's like uphill, across, you're going to see my ball move all over the show here. I've lowered the camera just to see if it does any justice to if you can see the ball rolling. Oh, I've looked back again and that <laughs> looks even higher. 
Um, yes. So we do not want this ball coming back down to my feet. So we need to get up there. Definitely coming in a lot from the right hand side. All about the pace on this one. Get it up to that top level. I am okay with that. <laughs> if it stopped a little bit close, I would have been thrilled. But okay. So I've got this put for my third par in a row. That was my objective. Um, I actually, in three holes, I feel like now, there's, I can't feel any wind here. And we've had the sun, the rain, the wind, gale force wind. It's been eventful. Let's see if I can roll this in. Yeah. Why? Thank you, Jeffrey. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so there we have it, my first ever three hole vlog. I would also like to thank Dundonal Links for letting me use the golf course. Absolutely beautiful golf course i would highly recommend coming and playing here and last but not least i would also like to thank jeffrey for yeah his company perfect i'll see you all very soon